Use the mode button to hand off the buttons to sequencing drum machines and instruments. The 4x4 will map to the drum machine or synth depending on what's in the active track. Sequencing is simple. Select a note from the 4x4, then use the sequence toggles to enter in your pattern. For example, if I create a new one bar clip for a drum machine, I can quickly launch that clip, sequence some notes, and even enable overdub with this encoder button to play on top of it, then edit what I just played. I can do this for an instrument too. However, it's probably more productive to use the flip mode to sequence instruments, since you can place notes in a progression more intuitively. This turns step sequencing on its head. Instead of selecting a note and enabling steps, you select a step and enable notes for a step. These examples were pretty obvious for a single measure, but what if you have a longer clip? And what if you want to sequence something other than 16th notes? Using our shift mode opens up a variety of controls. This clip is four measures long. I've created a basic bass and snare beat that I'll want to edit. I want to focus on the fourth measure, so I'll use shift and my measure select buttons to select the fourth measure. I can now edit the steps and sounds in just this measure. If I want to make changes to the first measure, I can move to that one and make edits. If I want the steps to always show the currently playing measure, I can turn follow mode on with this button. The second row of pads in shifted mode let me choose different timings to edit. For example, I may want to play some decorations on the 32nd notes for some offset rhythmic effects. I can also enable triplets to add polyrhythms. This is all very straight in feel. If we want to humanize a step sequence, we can use the top encoder buttons to enable shuffle, change global shuffle amounts, and add accents to a track.